I'm Joe DiGiulio. I'm back with another free art lesson. We're going to use flow expression models. This time, instead of using it to, like, put the bling on at the end, we're using it in the beginning with medium in it. That way, we're going to create textural effects prior to actually adding the paint on there. Uh, if you've seen my other uh, free art lesson on uh, the flow expression models, we actually made a positive mark and adding of color to the paint surface. This is something I usually do at the end. So I can take just a basic painting, add a little bit of exciting color, and of course my classic three dots. That's always part of anything that I do. Um, this is a way that I can kind of put a little more action into the work. So if I do something positive, I always like to do something negative, the yin and the yang, a kind of a balance in painting. So what I've done, prior to this was actually put some of the medium down onto this little painting board. This is a Soho uh, artist painting board. And uh, I'm taking a little Australian Sienna with my Pro Arte brush, one inch wash. And I'm using Australian Sienna. And it, like the Southern Ocean Blue, two of my most favorite colors and a lot of my work is done that way. These jewel tone paints actually make a fabulous wash that I can kind of glaze over the top. Because I can go all the way from like this like lemon yellow color to something deep and rich. But what is going to happen is when I paint over the top, you will see that the medium acts almost like a resist, where the paint doesn't adhere. So the paint absorbs into the board, but not on where I place the medium at. Let me get a little heavier application of that. And this just creates some really nice, interesting textural effects before I even get out of the box and start painting what I'm going to paint. I just do this all over. It's sort of like a faux finish technique, but bringing it to a fine art or state. You can see right there how that's working for me. And I'm going to do it with a little quick composition. And I like to remember the rule of thirds. So I'm going to put about two-thirds of this and we'll throw in some ocean blue. Now, what I want you to see is this effect too. I use the flow expression bottle to create these little linear elements. Right here you see the difference in gradation is because I actually took some of the medium and actually painted it on. The, and it, what it does, it creates a sealant and it makes a different absorbent quality on the board just like it would if I'd put uh, gesso on watercolor paper. It's kind of the same kind of effect. However, these boards will absorb at different rates. So I'm just taking a little bit of this down. And I'm really experimenting. I mean, the way you're going to find out new techniques is to experiment around. So if I really rub the brush in, to put the paint on there, you can see that that medium acts as a resist. I'm not really concerning about uh, composition here. I'm just trying to learn some different effects that I can do with these products. So you see where I've washed with the brush, where I've actually put on with the flow applicators, and then just the raw board there. So that's that color. Let's clean our brush. Let's take a look at another color, which is another jewel tone, the Southern Ocean Blue, and see how that works for us. Pick up a little bit on our palette. Come over the top and look at how luscious that is. Man, that's just a fabulous color. Everybody that I try, I, I teach, I always want them to just check this color out because it, to me, is just luscious. Now I'm putting a thick layer of this Southern Ocean Blue on. Again, you can see where it resists. But I'm going over where I previously put this, the Sienna to create that third color, that green. Now I take a little bit of water. And I'm going to flick a little bit of this on here, just to create a little simple 
composition. Let's move this off to the side. Now I've done that, but hey, let me try some water too. Now why am I trying some water? Because I want to get a dry brush effect and see what happens. I put some water on there and I take a dry brush and I go right over the top of it. That dry brush acts like a sponge that will pick up that color that I put down previously. And I create these neat little negative effects by lifting the color off to kind of counterbalance the positive effects of the splatter. Again, that kind of yin to yang thinking. If I do the positive something, I want to do negative something. I think that comes from uh, my days back in college when I was a sculptor and I didn't paint. Sculpting was always a subtractive method, taking away stone, taking away carving stone. So this allows me to actually do something, a positive mark, putting a splatter on, and a lift, a negative mark. If I don't like it, I can just scumble the color right in there, and you'll see that it's going to lift off in different areas. So these free art lessons are just a way of giving you some different ideas of how to do things. You can add, you can subtract, but you can always use these flows in different ideas. It's not just for paint, I guess, is the whole way of thinking. You can use it to, uh, of course, to paint, a way to add medium. You could actually squirt out water if you wanted to. All kinds of crazy shapes. Negative painting. It's all good. little blinging up your work. If I do something negative, I want to do something positive. Add a little red there just to pop it up. I don't know where I'm really going with this. I'm just experimenting around. Add a little here, a little bit there. Do the positive, do the negative. So I'm incorporating all ideas. Try using this flow expression bottle for with medium prior to painting. You can do a positive at the end, applicating it, but you can also do a negative kind of resist in the beginning. So try these flow. Uh, expression bottles, try the uh, mediums on there, working with the mediums to create additional textural linear effects, and you'll find out that you'll have some surprising results. I'm Joe DiGiulio. Thanks for stopping in for this next, for this wonderful free art lesson. See you next time.